Paul, an NCAA champion as a freshman, going up against Mikey Labriola, All-American as a freshman last year. Mark Hall, three-time finalist, national champion, a senior now, has never taken a redshirt year, and Labriola, and he went last year, it was five to three. Labriola got a takedown in that match against Paul. This will be another good one. Paul favored, but the crowd wanting an upset here from Mikey Labriola from Eastern Pennsylvania, Bethlehem Catholic. Up against the Apple Valley phenom, Mark Hall. Mark Hall, one of the nation's most storied high school careers. Six-time state champion, two-time Fargo cadet world champion. Powerhouse prep program up Apple Valley, Minnesota, up against another powerhouse, Bethlehem Catholic. So as I think back on it back in time, Tim, your, your son-in-law, uh, Kyle Rochelle, who's coaching at University of Tennessee Chattanooga, uh, his dad coached Mark Hall back in middle school. Yes, he it wasn't did. technically middle Keep school. I think he won the state in seventh grade in Kentucky. Is that accurate? That, that is right. accurate. So, and, and your son-in-law's dad was his coach, so it worked out pretty good for him. Yeah. Bounced, I think, right, Kentucky maybe maybe one did a year in Michigan, perhaps. I think he grew up he grew up in Michigan, but did that year in Kentucky before heading to eighth grade in Apple Valley. So that's kind of a small world type thing there with the Rochelle connection. So, talking about hips of Joseph, Mark Hall has similar hips. He's really hard to score on. So, Labriola has awesome shots. He's a really good goer. I like him. That was a sweet little boot scoot. Upper body, Hall's going big. Labriola wants the heck out of there. Hall's feeling pretty confident. I find Hall to be a very diverse wrestler. And, wow, he just did it with a foot sweep, too. What a great scramble. The crowd's not happy. They're throwing in the challenge. Here right. comes the brick. The coaches aren't happy either. They'll challenge the takedown. Of the okay. call on the mat is a takedown for Mark Hall. Go over there. So it all happened you got a, you fast. Got a challenge here. There was okay. a little scramble action. Mark Hall was an over under. Pretty slick stuff. Mark Hall is an over under. Kind of did a short drag. Oh, here we're going to look at it. We're going to get a little counter out. The over under. He's going to short drag with his left hand on this near side and kind of get into the, the go behind position. He's going to foot sweep with his right foot. Now, is there two right there or not? Uh, not, probably not. I think it's going to be, I mean, the call was two, the hand was on the ground, he was behind him, and I think they're not going to turn overturn this. Right, there is two. Is there two when he got initially on the out of bounds? I agree with you, they could keep the call. So they could call two there, I don't have and then they get, again potentially could again call two right here. There. So bad brick. But, but Banning didn't have yeah. the replays like we did. This is slick technique right here, though. From an over under to a short drag into a foot sweep. Man, that's review, like three seconds of the money. The call on the mat is reversed. It was not beyond reaction and, and, time. And what do we, we know? It wasn't down. beyond we reaction oh time. My. They reversed the, the call. And so the takedown to the delight of the crowd was taken Thank away. So good brick. Go uh, and what? It proved to be, it proved a, good to be a good brick. Uh, and so Mark Manning throws the brick. Mikey Labriola gets a second chance here. They go back to their feet. A minute 37, 0 0. Very interesting overturn of call, Tim. I mean, we both just saw it, looked at it. Interesting. They're still up here. He's, what's he doing now? He's changing the well, Yeah, they got to take the writing. They got to go back to where wow. it happened and put the time on the clock. And here we go. Both Hall, these Hall, are very poised. His bag of tricks is deep. I mean, he's really chill and calm. I, it reminds me, Tim, of Lee Kemp. When I, when I was growing up, I, I looked up to Dave Schultz, Lee Kemp, those guys were going at it. They are just so poised, and such precise technique. And so Mark, Mark reminds me of Lee. And you're talking about two of the greats. And Dave Schultz, of course, the uh, uh, award, the Dave Schultz Excellent Award in every state and then nationally. And Mark Hall was the 2016 Dave ah. Schultz Excellence Award nice. winner for uh, the nation. And so uh, we're talking about the best of the best. and and. He reminds you of them. You're, you're right. He's, uh, Mark Hall is always poised. He's never rushing. He knows where he's at. Well, that real is legit. I mean, obviously, he's an All-American as a freshman last year. <laughs> it's just some savvy wrestling by Hall. This is a big scramble. So single leg versus wizard. I, I learned this position from Doug Blueball growing up, Olympic champion legend. It's just a common position wrestling. It's there all the time. you got to be good at both defending and countering it. Look at that. Well, finishing and countering. Yeah, that roll through by Labriola is keeping the takedown from happening, at least 
right now if he can continue to scoot those hips and somehow get that head that that leg over his head but i think mark hall is going to come around and yeah, that leg hooked is too there's the two points. So remember in the Iowa match last week, Labriola almost beat Kemmerer. Kemmerer had that reverse leg lock and got a stalemate out of it. Labriola had the reverse leg lock, but didn't quite stick with it well enough and ended up giving it up kind of like he did there. And don't think Mark Manning is not thinking about throwing that brick again. He almost had it out of his hand because he was thinking as you were thinking. But a takedown with a ride out on top at the end of the period. That was a big two points for Mark Hall in this matchup against Mikey Labriola. Yeah, I, again, I'm quite impressed with what I'm seeing from Labriola Stop. against Kemmerer, against Hall. I mean, he's not expected to win or anything, but he's right in there fighting so hard. Let's see what he's got on top. They're both good takedown guys. Hall's going for the reverse leg lock. He's gonna try to put him to a hip. Oh, nice job by Hall. He's got the foot with his right hand, his left hand, rather. Oh, good. That was slick. Boy, he is just savvy. Just incredible body awareness Mark Hall has. He's been wrestling, you know, so much through elementary school. He's been on the circuit. I mean, people have known who Mark Hall was since he was, you know, 9 to 12 year old age group. You know, then he busted on the scene winning the state as a 7th grader in Kentucky, literally winning high school states. So just calm, fluent. And he's a winner. Or zero, Mark Hall out in front of Labriola, as you talked about, Labriola, such a tough competitor. All right. Great guy to have met his mom and dad, Barb and, and Michael, and you're talking about what a happy kid Mikey Labriola was growing up and still is. I love a, man, a, a, a young man that kisses his mom when he sees him, and I, I witnessed that, but hey, this guy, is. there's no quit in him. He's up against one of the best, though, three-time finalists, NCAA champion Mark Hall, ranked number one. And uh, right now, he's got control, Pressure Hall does, here. of this Pressure match. Here. He does. Unique little scramble here, though. Hall's not particularly happy there. He's trying for the tilt. Labriola kind of put him into a crab right now. Hall's happy. I mean, Hall's got it now. But 10 seconds ago, he's eh, a little uneasy. And as great as Hall is on his feet, I think he's one of the best riders in the game. You feeling him on top, too, huh? Yeah, he is. He is one of the great riders in our college wrestling. Look at this pressure that he comes has, and he can ride out to win as well as anybody. He, he definitely is a savvy rider when he needs to, absolutely. And Labriola's not done very well on bottom here. He hasn't really put two moves together very fluently. You can call it uh, the Friday fights. I call it Friday, fantastic Friday. If you thought you had enough great wrestling with Nebraska and Penn State, what's coming up? You're looking at it there at Carver Hawkeye, Ohio State, visiting the number one ranked Iowa Hawkeyes. Coming up next, don't go away after this one. It's Fantastic Friday on BTN. Oh, yeah, you got to love wrestling in Carver Hawkeye Arena. And when Tom Ryan, Hawkeye grad, brings his Buckeyes in there, that place is going to be rocking. Plus, what I really like about that dual matchup is Ryan and Brands fussing at each other because they were old buddies in college. And then when things get heated in the close calls, you know, they're, they're both fighting for the athletes. But it's, at the end of the game, they're still like good buddies. The fight right here needs to be taken to Hall by Mikey Labriola, but Hall steps in with a nice shot. Burning time, if nothing else. The so same position as earlier. Nebraska went to the Shin Neutral. Wizard. Like earlier, Vincenzo Joseph was against Isaiah White, and Nebraska went to the Wizard, Neutral. turned their hips out. And, and Penn State does a good job of beating that Shin Wizard, that low Wizard. Now Hall's going to think control, about a major Green. or a cradle. You're in control. There's just been no an intensity. Change. That was two Red, more points down. for Mark Hall there. And there's been intensity shown by Penn State's best wrestlers when you're looking at Lee and Chenzo Joseph and Mark Hall. They've showed up tonight in a hostile environment, in a great environment. Congratulations. Thanks to Nebraska Athletic Department, the raised stage, the great crowd. But uh, Penn State knew they were going to be in for a fight, and their studs are showing up. The yeah, fingers, still the coming, yeah, coming you know, down the wire. <laughs> as they say, you don't get away from the eyes of Kale Sanderson. And uh, his eyes have uh, been focused on this mat tonight with uh, a lot of success coming from his best wrestlers. Speaking of best wrestlers here, can Mark Hall 
go big and get a major. He's thinking, he's thinking duck. He's thinking, wow, that was slick. Elbow foot, elbow shove, far ankle, duck. He's just technique, boy, holy smokes. So that's the famous one that Zanuck does so well with the elbow shove, far ankle grab. And Paul, Paul had to do two or three, two or three more things. He's going big enough to near second. Holy Cradle smokes. Cradle is locked. He's going, he's got the major, he's going for the fall, Tim. It's close, he's almost got it, it's there. It's over. It's a fall with seven seconds left. Mark Hall showed up tonight. Love it. Very impressive third period by Mark Hall. He went to bat. I mean, he could have just chilled. And he went big for a cool takedown. Had to scramble. 